First to six here from Ludlow on day three of week four. It's a two mile, two furlong handicap chase for horses rated up to 120. Papillon Poutine, Alex Cherry, Fiorentis Diamond, Paul Rhodes, Singita Chrissy, Davy Lad, Admiral Ascoli, Martin Leadham. High Towns, your favourite for Darren Thompson. Force 10, Craig Beckwith, Merchants Hill, Graham Clutterbuck, Tamia Londis, Ryan Costello, Otia Lafleet, Alex Cherry, and Edge 4 Freeze. For Thomas Rogers, completes your lineup of a really low weight. That one for Thomas Rogers, uh, running off 79 here today. So the starter lets them go, and it's just a short run up to this first flight, but all over it safely. Oh, Force 10 has gone. I was just about to say all over it safely, but Force 10 just chucked the rider off as they got to the other side. And there was a slow jump from Atelier Fleet over the first, but jumped the second much better. Uh, the same can't be said for Merchant's Hill for Graham Clutterbuck who after a couple of good top five efforts in the previous race will need to sharpen up its jumping uh, to be involved here. The favourite's gone. The favourite is gone. Hightown, Darren Thompson's horse, uh, first and second in its last two starts and has uh, completed all three starts today, actually. Uh, just didn't get over that one at all and unseated the rider on the other side. So the favourite's out of the race and it blows this handicap chase even further open than it already was. It was already a wide open handicap. Um, but after just four flights, um, some sketchy jumping, and we've, we've lost two already, so the field is down to eight runners and being led along at the moment by Papillon Poutine for Alex Cherry, uh, who gets over that one really well and has jumped well so far. Faller on two out of three starts so far, so that's another one that's had issues with its jumping as they all get over the next slightly slower jump towards the rear of the field by edge four freeze and that one is currently the back marker as they come to the next flight but another really good jump from Papillon Poutine Admiral Ascoli the grey horse of Martin Leedhams didn't get over that one particularly well really big high jump from Papillon Poutine a lot of air time there I think that one's been at the uh, uh, been schooled a lot over these larger obstacles over the last week or so as they come over the water ditch and past the stands and you can see the horses chasing on and having a look at how well their horses are traveling bet slips in hand and those ones that have backed the favorite might already be at the bar getting their next drink in because Hightown crashed out of the race early on but Papillon Poutine continues to bowl along in front as they start swinging right-handed on this final circuit here at Lud Ludlow a couple of lengths lead over Singy to Chrissy uh, half a length, three quarters of a length back, sorry, to Artilia Fleet in third. Fiorentis Diamond on the outside of that one. Merchants Hill for Graham Clutterbuck after a couple of slow jumps early on has made some progress and now splits that pair in third and fourth. Admiral Ascoli, the grey horse, just in behind those. Uh, got really high over that fence but not over it too quickly. A better jump from Tamia Londis for Ryan Costello and that allowed that one to move up on the outside of the chasing pack as they all get over that next flight pretty well. So a good round of jumping by the leader so far, Papillon Poutine, as they get over the next, really attack that one, got over it well. Poor jump from Tanya Londis and that one's moved to, back towards the rear of the field where Admiral Ascoli and Edge 4 Freeze are still the two back markers at the moment, but Admiral Ascoli still travelling well enough as they come over that next fence. Singita Chrissy was far too high over that one. Much better jump from Merchants Hill as they start a swing right-handed in the final five furlongs. Papillon Poutine not moved a muscle on that one yet. The jockey is just really enjoying itself today out in the lead Papillon Poutine for Alex Cherry this six-year-old setting a really strong pace now as we start going into the final four furlongs it's really up in the Andy Papillon Poutine and it's going to really start piling on the pressure starting to swing right-handed here and they're going to quickly find themselves coming into the home straight as the camera pans out and just shows all of those jockeys hard to work trying to catch this leader as it gets over the next pretty well Merchants Hill off out in pursuit for Graham Clutterbuck Artilia Fleet coming from the back of the field oh Papillon Poutine absolutely ploughed through that pull of the reins from the jockey tried to get over it and the horse just didn't respond and ploughed through it instead navigates that one more effectively but Merchants Hill is breathing down its neck as we come to the furlong marker Graham Clutterbuck's horse looking a real danger on the outside but here comes Ottilia Fleet as well on the outside in the same silts as Papillon Poutine for Alex Cherry as well one more fence to navigate the water ditch Merchants Hill gets over it really well for Graham Clutterbuck and is going to hang on as they come to the line Merchants Hill wins it for Graham Clutterbuck. Really good ride, patient ride from the jockey. 
edged its way into the race as we started to come down the back straight and then picked off the long time leader who wasn't helped by a bad error and Papillon Poutine is somehow being awarded third there but as you see them come past the post I think Fiorentis Diamond can feel hard done by with that call actually um, unless the camera angles deceive him but Merchants Hill denies Alex Cherry the win here in the Ludlow handicap chase takes it for Graham Clutterbuck Alex Cherry does get second and third place money there Fiorentis Diamond only fourth for Paul Rhodes and uh, Admiral Ascoli completes your top five for Martin Leadham but congratulations to Graham Clutterbuck and Merchants Hill wins the first here at Ludlow